Mm. All right, Mike, thank you. Elizabeth Olvetta joins us now live at the Sparks Marina, where some looked to beat the heat today. Liz, local paramedics are already seeing an uptick in heat related calls. Yeah, Kristen, well, Remsa tells me that this time of the year is always busy for them, but so far this season, they're already seeing double the number of heat related calls. And so while they're scheduling extra staff for the summer, they want to urge everyone to remember preventative measures that they should take first. Northern Nevadans are spending a lot of time outdoors the past couple of weeks, but with the summer comes the sun and a lot of it. I stay inside a lot and then you know, I went outside yesterday just a little bit and oh my God, it almost killed me. So we've already seen an increase in heat related responses here. So we asked residents what they're doing to keep cool and safe. We'll get off and shower off and the showers over there, you know, the rinse off. And, um, and then when we go home, we got central AC, so we're okay there. Stay in the shade, put on sunscreen, drink lots of water. It can take 10 minutes before you start getting sunburned. If you burn easily, I suggest you put on some sunscreen. Over here, they got some on like in the dispenser. But a sunburn isn't the only thing you risk out in the almost triple digit heat though. Heat exhaustion is very real and all too common. It's been really hot for the past couple days, like a lot and I really don't like it at all. Take a break, find shade, drink water, and go indoors if you experience any of the following. Upset stomach, maybe headache, dizziness, but it can progress pretty rapidly to something that could be deadly. That is known as heat stroke. Altered level of consciousness, seizure, those people are hot to touch, but they're dry. If you or anyone you're with displays any of those symptoms or vomiting, it's time to call 911. It's important for people to kind of trust their body. And if you're in the water, it may be difficult to tell if you're nearing that danger zone. So it's important to take a shade break even from swimming every 15 to 20 minutes. Always remember safety first. Come out in the first part of the day, avoid the late afternoons and find some shade. Now, Ramza says on a normal day, you should take your weight, divide it by two, and that's how much water that you should drink. But in days that have extreme heat, you should increase that by 16 to 32 ounces per hour and then add in some electrolytes with drinks like Gatorade or Powerade. Covering the story live, Elizabeth Olveda, Channel 2 News.